um, related to approval of wage and other unbudgeted expenditures impacting default budgets and commitments in future years. Um, this is something that, that I put together um, for the purpose of addressing the, the issue at a policy level of unbudgeted expenses that are incurred during a given year and roll into the following year's default budget to address the transparency issues. I sent this out on Friday. It was included um, with the information you got on Friday. It's not particularly lengthy. I think it's three sentences or whatever. Um, having said that, Mark um, uh, produced a version, what, today, Mark, or whatever? Friday, Friday or yeah. whatever, Father. that you were copied on that, quite frankly, didn't, I, I'm absolutely happy with the changes he made. It didn't change the substance um, of anything that I had um, put mm -hmm. together. If you wish to defer it till next week, that's not a problem. What is the pleasure of the board? I, I, have I think we can just talk about it. I have a quick comment on this. Do we want to get into it this, my question is, do we want to get into it this week or defer it? It's, well. it's, a, it's a light agenda, notwithstanding prior comments, I'm happy to tackle Okay. Hi. I'd like to read it first okay. so, so the yep. public knows. And what I'm going with is Mark's version simply because he, mm -hmm. you know, I, I thought he improved upon what I had put together and didn't make any substantive um, changes. That was better. Um, to, assure public, <laughs> to assure public transparency, any non-budgeted expenditures, including non-budgeted employee wage increases and other contractual commitments, that carry forward to future years impacting the default budget shall be brought to the Board of Selectmen by the Town Manager for review and approval in a public meeting prior to consummation. If they come to his attention, the Town Manager will alert the Board of Selectmen to commitments that fall into this category but fall under the authority of another appointed or elected body or official in order to provide the Selectmen and the public with advanced notification as the Selectmen will be asked to incorporate the associated spending increases into the default budget. My objectives in this are one, provides transparency both to the Selectmen and the general public. It forces the, the, the issues to be out there. Second, in addition, it assures that the authority to approve over budget, budget expenditures which will result in tax increases the following year lies with the Board of Selectmen in those areas that fall under us. Finally, for expenditures falling under the authority of other elected bodies and officials, it ensures that the Selectmen and the general public are aware that increases could be reflected in the default budget that have not been approved by a vote town meeting. So, that's it. After thinking about this, I have concerns that something like this is popping up this late in the year and our comment to Mr. Diener and the Conservation Commission when they, the Commission itself uh, voted to grant a pay increase to an employee and was uh, basically told that they should plan for these things and incorporate them in the planning for their budget, I think the same thing applies to the Board of Selectmen. And if we anticipate, and it is logical to anticipate, that non-contract individuals be granted increases, I think that should have been planned for the 2013 budget, and I think we should have included that planning or an approximation for the 2014 budget. Now what are we going to do? Go to the Budget Committee for 2014 and say, hey, we think in this year we'll need approximately ballpark figure $20,000 for non-contract wage increases. You also can have a potential problem when you ha are negotiating collective bargaining agreements because traditionally the collective bargaining agreements have been completed and then the non-contract raises Objective. were an outcome of the collective bargaining process. So it, we need the need to take the bull by the horns and not hang our hats on the collective bargaining process for the non-contract personnel and go ahead and budget for the coming year, not be hit with something in the fall for the current year. I'm not very and, happy with that. And we did that so this year. For 2014. So that's 1766. For 2014, okay. Then why are we complaining about it screwing up the default budget? What do you mean, why are we? I thought you said that where, that this was not included. This, any item. Is this? Well, this is purely a transparency I, issue. I, I agree with what you said of, I, of 
wherever possible things should be planned or whatever. All this does is assure I that when it's not the case that it becomes transparent. I, I agree with you, but it, we shouldn't have be put in situations where it's not the case. And the Budget Committee right now is struggling with the feeling that the 17,666 has not been incorporated into this year's budget. What is this year? 2013. And therefore, what, what the extension of those figures is not adequately calculated in 2014. Ab absolutely. If you recall, at the start of this meeting when well, we sorry. talked about operating, yes. I brought up the fact that there was three thousand and forty eight right. three thousand and forty eight dollars that right. we approved over and above the fourteen six one six right. or whatever it was that was in the budget. Fred requested that that be put in the default budget. We agreed to that and I pointed out at the start of this meeting that that, that default budget should be um, revised. Revised <coughs> by that amount. Well if we're revising it then it wasn't in the default budget. Because we made a decision to go with a 1% as opposed to I a 0.85. I understand that, but what I'm trying to say is that this should have been worked out in the context of the 2013 budget okay, right. for whatever perceived uh, raises uh, were on tap for non-contractual personnel. I agree. But, but, the, the, but the point is, what we I, I agree with what By you said. By extension, we should have done that right out of the gate. Right. And what we did is we did the do that in budget. 2014. Okay. We recognized that. I asked Mike Spolzer to go ahead and calculate it based on one and a quarter percent. I asked him to when? ask. When? When? Back, the budget committee back, in the back in September, October. All right, okay. It's so in the there. budget committee 000. has the figures factored right. in. I just right. want to clarify. Right. I want to make but, sure but I understand. But what I am doing here, okay, as I agree That's with you, it's a different issue. Is, is that good. when that type yes. of thing is done, like for example, the board of selectmen making a decision, yeah. to increase that by three thousand yeah. dollars, that that be done in public, which it was Absolutely. done yeah. last yes. week. Right. So That's what this assures. Okay, right. what I can tell you. Is and it is is what has often gone on in the past, mm -hmm. and you know what you know, you don't know what you don't know, right. or whatever. Is these kind of things took place in some circumstances? I've turned over some of them as a function of analysis I've done yeah. in conjunction with CBAs. Right. These things are done. Raises have been given. Selectmen have not been aware of it. Right. It was not announced in conjunction with the budget. Correct. It was brought into the default budget, you right. can't see a, a, a three or a five thousand dollar raise in a six hundred thousand dollar line item, right. okay? Whatever. What this does is sets a policy mm -hmm. that assures these type of things, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example, it's not just raises or whatever. We made a judgment this past May or June to take the assistant, if you will, MIS position Correct. from a part-time to a full-time full position. Mm -hmm. we, we made that judgment. It was not something that we had planned for going at the year, but based on the circumstances that we were facing in May and June, right. we made that judgment. Right. The consequence of that judgment is that we increased um, roughly by about 25 percent by going from 32 to 40 hours or whatever. Yep. We increased the expense associated with that position from a wage standpoint. Yep. We also increased the expenses associated with that individual having health insurance, right. okay, call it $18,000 or something along those mm -hmm. kind of lines, okay. One thing I'm not sure, and I'm saying I'm not sure, I'm not saying we didn't, but I'm not sure that we made it a point to make the public aware. We made that decision in non-public for valid reasons yeah. associated with, with, with some yeah. circumstances that shouldn't have been aired in public. I'm not sure we came mm -hmm. before the public and said, yes, this is what we're point. doing. And, yeah. and what this policy does, yeah. not only for things that fall under our responsibility, but for things with other elected yes. bodies and officials because it's going to impact the default budget and we have to yeah. approve that is assured that it becomes transparent. Yeah. I believe that when these things are, are by policy all transparent yes. okay, and out there, I think we'll make wiser decisions. Absolutely. So. And it's a good policy. I just wanted to clarify good. because there's some issue and you, might, you want to be aware of that tomorrow night when you go in with the Budget Committee and they're doing their review and so forth to clarify for them because well, that's, that's been a little... The thing that annoys me, and I think that the legislative body should be able to vote on everything. That's a given. But like in the case of uh, the IT personnel, that was an unforeseen, unforeseeable, mm -hmm. probably, yeah. that that was going to occur. So you're going to have those events take place, but 
when it comes to a couple other events that have taken place this last year, those were all foreseeable. There was no excuse for those, in my opinion, looking at the legislative body approving the money, okay, point of view. So I think what this does, at least it'll try to bring it to our attention, mm -hmm. and if we think it's wrong, mm -hmm. which I do in some cases, we can sputter mm -hmm. and spew about it accordingly. Do you, will you accept a motion to approve? Is that what you need? Yep. May, I, may I just have one comment, please? Oh. I will second the motion. Okay. Uh, I just, um, uh, in red, uh, if they come to his attention, and it sounds from the comments that we want a more forceful uh, execution of this, this concept, uh, you know, Fred is the chief executive. Uh, it goes out. Uh, perhaps from the chair and Fred, uh, you to the other elected board uh, chairman and to Fred, that these matters will come to either Fred or you. And that goes along with the, the full emphasis on transparency. And this, this if they come to his attention, to me, uh, dilutes your whole effort. And I think it should just, uh, that should not be part of it if this is the way you want to go. Quite frankly, that wasn't something I had in there initially, that was something that Mark yeah. had with the understanding that, that there there is there this is a human enterprise, well, and yeah. there are there are things yeah. that are unknowable. But I, I think that hearing your comment and, and going, this just takes it if they come, just yeah, sets it up for failure. And I, I would agree uh, too. I would well, are you that. suggesting that be removed? Then yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Remove that. Uh, where is the uh, where is that? I'm trying to get the right one here. Okay. Okay. So Phil has essentially um, proposed an amendment. If they come to his attention, be deleted. I'll second your amendment. In other words, okay. leave it the way it was to begin with, Mark, oh, on that line. Just that one line. Okay. Yep. All in favor of the amendment? Unanimous. Okay. Main motion as amended. All in favor of the main motion? Okay. Good. Sounds good. That's what's uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Because if... if Somebody gives a raise, for example, in the middle of the year. Somebody still has to sign a check, so they're going to come to our attention sooner or later. Pa in the pay higher payroll is not. I mean, that has to come right. through Mike Swotzer. Yeah. Um, and I, 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 to be honest with you, I, I didn't object to that because I, I was hard pressed to envision a situation where another elected official um, or body went out and made a contractual commitment without, you know, involving the town manager, the town attorney, and and, and so on. And financial officer, yeah. But yeah. Okay.